All right, welcome back. Let's um, go um, on with the show now. Also, you have a couple of uh, tweets, mm -hmm. I guess, people talking about, you know, lot, uh, the draws, a lot of, the yeah, calf a lot of awards. talk, fans just looking forward to uh, the event. You know, I like, I, like, I like what is going on. Nigerian players are not, you know, nominated. Everyone is just saying, look, for the love of the game, let's come out, let's support African football. It's the CAF Awards, so uh, no love loss. And a lot of them are also monitoring now, talk to them. And Chelsea, so um, pretty, pretty busy, but everybody's just saying, let's go on with the flow. All right, so everybody's saying, let's go on with the flow. Uh, let's enjoy um, the awards. We always knew that um, the Nigerian would definitely not pick the player of the year award, but <laughs> there are Nigerians Next in other categories. Change. Next, Next year. year, it will change, hopefully. <laughs> also, let's move on. Let's really come home now. Yeah. I'll talk about Nigeria Professional Football League. That's something also yeah. making us all what a story. What a story. Very we happy. Have, we have last season, you know, and yeah, me, uh, I'm sure you want to talk about Boris Coman uh, joining the Kuro United. Coman, we know the vast you know, experience he has in, in the local Belgerian, league, you, know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and and um, yeah, Ikorodu United, their own, you know, on doing uh, in 2016. Uh, I thought they, they lost it when they shouldn't have lost, you know, uh, concentration. I think they didn't recruit well. One, my, my... you know, when you when you live in the NNL. To the NPFL. Don't come with the mindset it's that it is the, the same. New ball game, yeah. You know, yeah. It, it, look at look at at some point it started catching up with MFM, MFM too. Yeah. You know, good for them. They already solidified them their place, and it's uh, they even needed to wait till the last game of the season to be certain that they were not going there. But for Ikorodu United, let's see what Morris Coman can do. He's also a developmental coach, and of course. You know, with a coach, a coach of his experience, if you provide him all the necessary, you know, support, put all the machinery in place you need, he might tell these guys one or two things. I'm sure for the management, the objective is just simple. Take us back to top flight football, you know. And when they come back, do not repeat what you did the other time. Because, I mean, I think they were doing so well in terms of... Um, uh, managing the brand, you know, Ecology United was out there, had a sponsor, you know, in negotiations were buying their jerseys. But I think, yeah, the players, they have the mentality to yeah. play top flight football, first team first. And I agree with you also, they didn't, do the, they didn't recruit properly because, I mean, every top player would have one way or the other liked to come play in Lagos, you know, live in Lagos, but maybe the incentives aren't just right, you know. And On the managerial side, everything seemed to be okay. It was a well-run club. Yeah, that's they had, what I'm they saying, They had yeah. all those, but uh -huh. on the field. Yeah, on the, yeah. The, how, well, how big a loss is it for Lagos? We had two, now we have, <laughs> you know, one. I don't know. Not a big loss, not a big loss. We, we love what we saw last season, and again, yeah, maybe what Ikorodu United going back to the NL should do to us is, it tells us that go back and follow your football. If you like Ikorodu United, don't say because they are not playing. No, it shouldn't, ma it shouldn't matter. F follow your team again. Find out if they're making progress. You know, own your club. Don't just support it. Own the club, you know. And, you know, someone was talking to me when I was in the UK. He said, look, Austin, it's the same level of enthusiasm you see in the EPL that you see if you go to the championship. No, Alex, yeah. You know, almost the same thing even when you go to Division 1, 2 to watch a game. In some cities, clubs in the lower leagues are more popular than the one in the are fans follow it religiously, you will be wondering that what's going on. I think that's the next level we should take our football to. Uh, don't say because it's top flight, they give it all the, the attention. Spread the it love. It should go everywhere because, I mean, for development, you need to start from the foundation, you know. And if, we, if we're doing better at the, you know, lowest level, call it the grassroots, and then it trickles down, you know, it, it's, it's a wrap off and everybody will be fine with the football. All right, let's um, move on. This time we have to travel abroad, and that's where we will be till um, the end of the show. Um, let, let's talk about what's going on uh, in Chelsea and um, uh, Tottenham, uh, what, what it is right now. I, I'm, I'm very sure a lot of people are, you know, interested in this game. That's it on your screen. Mm. It's live. It's still goalless. Not the fans of these two teams alone are interested <laughs> for... for I mean, I'm surprised that a game involving just two teams, like seven teams, their players, their officials, and the fans are interested in what happens that's here. Right, that's Some right. are wishing for a draw. Uh -huh. Some are wishing for an outright Chelsea loss. There you go, because it's going to affect their next play. But a lot of people want Tottenham to get something from this Well, game. it depends on which side of the divide you're on, but 
most people would just say give us good football yeah, yeah. 40 40 minutes already played here. I mean, and that tells you that it's a very tense one i read you know post to post you know activities going on in that game but um it's just something about chelsea and the sort of football they have played tottenham yeah they've shown us also that uh there are no pushovers this season but you know what i mean in this sort of game uh it can go it can go anywhere you know and with, with chelsea the sort of game we've seen them play this season they can just do it when you least expect it. it's just that magic that Conte has brought and then it's going on well for them but uh, how big see. a test is this for, for chelsea if, if they lose this do, does it change anything you know in, in, in your own estimation yeah. you know the result of this game how crucial how big it is it is yeah i mean aside but what if it hands in a loss for chelsea would that change anything it shouldn't all the praises and everything chelsea it, has been? come on it shouldn't yeah i mean because we understand where they're coming from you want me to tell you tell you how jose struggled with the team last season until he left but but no conte conte is on a mission Let's see what he's trying to do. And whether or not anybody thinks it's going to be so bad if they lose. I'm a Nigerian and I've seen the progress it has done for Victor Moses. And I'll say no. For that reason they lose. I mean, they can be, I mean, anything can be beaten, you know. It depends on how you fall. It's the level of fall you have that you look at yourself and say, oh, this damage is really bad. Chelsea should lose tonight. You ask me, I'll say, oh, they lost to a team that wanted the victory more. Tottenham. And as they've been playing good football. And yeah, they, they lost it. But... The danger, you should be worried that if they win this one, catch them if you can. Yeah, that's the point. Uh -huh. uh, they'll be flying away. A lot of people have said, before we leave this Chelsea, um, uh, a lot of people have said, not being in Europe has been a blessing in disguise for mm. Chelsea. Uh, as other clubs have started thinking about it, you have a Champions League or the Europa League, they are not thinking about that. <laughs> well, if you have the ball, no. <laughs> Bravo, if you would like to, you know, we play that. At least for this season. Yeah, for this season. Yeah, I mean, yes. Uh, but again, it can also be your distraction because you 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 become complacent that you just play the domestic games and play that rotation is easy. No, I mean Chelsea. Chelsea came out with an objective this season. Got a new man. Said so this is the philosophy of the club. We used to be very dominant. Now we are losing our team. Bring it back, you know. And they didn't. Got off to a flying start. They made mistakes. At some point, it was, it was a candidate for the sack. There you go. And then, all change. of a sudden... Formation change. Because, because player reshuffle. People look at it. People, look, football has gone beyond just come and kick the ball. 98% of it is played here, you know. So, he sits with... Conte sits with his team and says, look, uh, how about we change? Let's change tactics. Let's change how we do this. Let's change how we do this. And it's working for them, Yemi. Um, I think Chelsea is a team to really watch out for this season. All right, uh, let's move on and talk about some Chelsea fans. Yeah. Not really good, but some of their fans, four of them, remember that little incident um, when they played uh, against Paris Saint-Germain, that um, incident had some sort of racist uh, connotation. Mm. Some, some guys not allowing the black man to get on to the train. Four of those guys yeah. have been hammered That's right. by French courts. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's a social media world. And let me, let me remind other fans that are also doing things that are not acceptable in football. And you say, oh, I've, I've gotten away. This thing was in 2015. It was revisited. And then now they're getting the judgment. Look, we keep saying it that fans conduct is also part of the game. It's key. It's very, very important here. I mean, you know, and this one even happened after the match, you know. So on the, during the game, before the game, during the game, after the game, everyone is expected to be of good behavior. You don't... Yeah. You don't do things that will bring distress, disrepute to the game. People are monitoring. It is a global brand, you know. And so, for Chelsea football fans, they've been given suspended jail sentences and, and, and fined by the court. Yeah, That's serious. Very serious. And Very a lot serious. of people are saying, you know, that probably FIFA should tell this line, come down heavy. Yeah. And this is, this is a deterrent. Look, I mean, you need to put your foot down. You know, it's... it's Football is followed like a religion worldwide, and so there are some people that just want to bring it down, you know. So I don't know how to explain how FIFA is going to do this, but let's thank God that we have video footage that we can always fall back on when some things, you know, go wrong. You know, uh, the video footage showed the four, the four of them, you know, 
doing what shouldn't be done with a with game of football. Football should unite us. Mm -hmm. Football should show love. The, we, we no say the, the game is fair play, you know. So when you discriminate or you bring someone down all in the name of being a fanatic, it's totally unacceptable, you know. Watch the game for the love of the game. If your team wins, celebrate. If your team doesn't win, don't cause trouble. Yeah, that's how it should be. Yeah. All right. Also, let's talk about a man. Um, a lot of people thought he was finished. A lot of people said, I mean, th this player has nothing to offer and he has consistently proved everyone wrong. <laughs> let's talk about Zlatan Ibrahimovic. <laughs> And you wouldn't expect this. He wins the PFA Fans Player Award for, the, for last month. Yeah, me. Three weeks ago at a press conference, some British journalists were trying to see if this guy was, this guy was still on fire. And he says, if you want me to score 40, he says, say it. And you'll get it. He says, say it. He says, don't, don't try to come and ask me if I still have that on. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, fantastic player anytime, any day. And to think that he's 35 just worries me. So it means this guy can still be firing at all cylinder even till he gets to 40. You know, Yemi is still energetic, still a threat to defenders. You know, when he was coming to United, we thought he was just going to be one bench guy that you just bring up or use it to play the EFL games or the FA Cup games. And I showed that, look, this you can rely guy on me. Is com this guy is competitive as ever. And if care is not taken, huh, he might just even be among the highest goals in the season. Do you see him playing a season more at United? If possible, three. Look, you didn't just buy Zlatan to score you goals. Zlatan was bought for his charisma, showman. You help your merchandising. You buy the people will buy his jersey, and it's this clout he carries. You know when United is play, where you see him it makes defenders respect. Manchester when you, the United. moment you see him, you Zlatan. know. So <laughs> you, it, 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 Zlatan is a total package of a player. So. When Mourinho was going for this kind of guy, I don't put it on the stand. I love him beyond his football, you know, and he's beginning to show that. All Sweet. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's leave Europe and talk about an emerging force. The power that most of us do not understand, and that's China. Well, at some point we said players uh, that have left, you know, their best football is behind them are the ones going to China. But how do you explain Oscar? How do you explain Carlos Tevez? And had to that list, hmm. Belgian international, Belgian midfielder, who plays for um, Russian side Zenit and Petersburg, yep. Axel Witzel, at oh. 27. There you go. A player courted by Juventus hmm. decides to go to China. To China. Yeah, me, we're in trouble. You know, when, when you told me about this story, I had to go read it up and I said, look, we are in trouble. You know why? Because the Chinese league, they are not just telling these players, come and take money. They are telling them, we are developing football, and you want to be part of this revolution. They're telling them something aside, just come and take money, you know? I mean, if you have a player that is 27, that still has a lot to offer, you know, plays for Zenit and Petersburg, very promising, you know, good footballer, turns down Ju Juventus to go to China, it tells you something, you know? And I'm even reading now that a high-profile goalkeeper is on his way there. Let me pause you a little <laughs> and tell everyone watching in case you're not watching the game that's the update for you tottenham one goal up against chelsea um <laughs> but let's see how it goes there's still a lot of football still to be played but like austin said tottenham i guess they want it more that's what it is i mean um it's a it's a tense it's a tense game and wales but dele ali is yeah. on, on good form dele ali got that goal uh, in the 45th minute, so it tells you they were pushing, 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 and at the right time they got it. Going to the break with the with the lead yeah. is very good. Okay, so we have to go on a break ourselves here. We'll go on a break. When we come back, we'll be wrapping up sports tonight, but not without talking about this man, Roger Federer. Jumps again.